How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to do confidence intervals with the uh, Z-scores. Um, and what we're going to do is just go over this problem. And this is culturally relevant right now. Um, however, by the time anyone sees this, it might not be. <laughs> but but we, have, uh, we have our good friend Joe is, is exotic. And uh, he wants to know how much his tiger cubs weigh on average. Uh, he took a sample of 75 tigers, <laughs> which, is a, which is a lot. I don't even know if he had that many. Um, and the average weight was 28 pounds with a standard deviation of 3.46. Uh, and we want to find a 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of all Joe's tiger cubs. Um, so what we want to do um, for all of these one sample confidence intervals going to be x bar minus uh, plus or minus our z critical value multiplied by our standard error which I guess we'll put as that standard error of x bar all right we know we're going to use a, a z critical value because our sample size is more than 30 and just depending on your class it might be 25 or it might be 20 but we have a large enough sample size that we're going to be using a, a z critical value um, and so uh, here we know x bar right x bar is our sample mean Right, we took the sample and they weighed 28 pounds. All right, that was our sample average. Um, we took a standard deviation. This is for the samples. So we'll put we'll put a disaster here. Um, it's 3.46, and our sample size, the number of tigers that we looked at, was 75. All right, um, and so we pretty much have everything we need already for this confidence interval. Um, the only thing we're missing is that z critical value. Um, for 95%, you know it's 1.96. You don't you don't really need to look that up. But just in case you do, okay, we'll we'll practice and show how we do that. Um, so uh, alpha is gonna be 0.05, right? So for a 95% confidence interval, we're gonna do one minus this 95% as a decimal, which is 0.95, right? So we're gonna do one minus 0.95, and that gets us our 0.05. Alpha over two is equal to uh, 0.025 all right so we know we're going to have 0 0.025 in both of these tails all right if you've used the normal table you know the whole thing everything under the curve adds up to one all right and your table could be a little different too but it's just, it's the same idea where you find how much is one of the tails and, and subtract the other stuff off right so the table i'm going to use is this one here and for this table, we're looking between zero and Z. A lot of the tables just show you everything left of Z. So it's gonna be a hair different, but um, what we're doing is we wanna look up, oh golly. We wanna look up um, this between zero and our Z value that we wanna find. So R go, ours goes from zero to whatever. So we know 0.5 is on the right side of the curve. So we're going to do 0.5 minus 0 0.025, which is 0.475, All right? So then this is the value that we look up inside of the table. So we come back to our table, we look inside of it for 0.475, and wouldn't you know it, it's 1.96, right? So uh, for these normal tables, you can remember the 95% because that's the most common one, it's the 1.96. All right, so that's our Z critical value. So now we just plug stuff in. So we go 28 plus or minus our Z critical value multiplied by the standard error. Um, and the standard error is just your standard deviation over the square root of N. So I will plug this into the calculator right quick. Um, I should, if I'm planning to do any more of these, um, I should get a calculator in the app However, I don't have that. So uh, the lower end is going to be 27.2. Uh, we'll just go two digits. So 27.22. Then if we switch the subtraction to addition, then we get 28.78. All right, so how do we interpret one of these confidence intervals? Uh, well, what this confidence interval is telling us is that we are 95% confident. Confident that the actual mean 
for all of Joe's Cubs is between 27.22 and 28.78 pounds. All right, so again, what we're trying to do with these confidence intervals is we're trying to say, um, what's the actual average, right? What's the population average? And so we're 95% confident that the population average is somewhere in between that range, um, which is pretty dang sweet. Stats are awesome. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure to uh, press like uh, so other people can find it. And subscribe if you want more of the best stat content or our programming content um, that this here sweet dear platform of YouTube has to offer. Uh, thanks. We'll see you later.